Hello friends, in today's video, let's explore about serif versus sans serif fonts. What is the difference between serif versus sans serif fonts? What does each category says about your brand and what kind of designs are the best fit for your brand? So before you choose what font is the best fit for your brand and your designs, first you need to understand different categories of fonts. In today's video, we will focus on the two most important categories of fonts that you need to understand serif and sans serif fonts. Let's look at the difference between serif versus sans serif fonts as their name suggests the main difference between these two fonts is the presence or absence of serif within the letters a serif is a decorative line added to the beginning or at the end of letters stem you can see in this font which creates small horizontal and vertical planes within a word whereas sans serif fonts don't have these sans in their title you can see in this font sans serif font without tails sans serif fonts are made up of simple and clean lines some of the most commonly used serif fonts which includes times new roman garamond georgia courier new and some of the most popular sans serif fonts includes arial helvetica Futura and Calibri. So what does a serif font says about your brand? If you are going for a traditional look and feel in your designs, then you would go for serif fonts. Serif fonts have been widely used in books. You must have noticed in newspapers and magazines. Serif fonts are a good choice for brands that are looking for a trust and establishment and reliability. Consumers are often tilted toward the traditional look of serif fonts because of its heritage and loyalty of the brand. Serif fonts are a great choice for more traditional business like law practices, financial firms, insurance companies, etc. And for more corporate branding kind of designs like marketing brochures, flyers, etc. Now let's look what does a sans serif font says about your brand if serif fonts are all about the traditional look sans serif fonts are about the latest addition or you can call a modern flavor to the design sans serif is considered more modern because they are minimal and simplistic at the same time if your target audience is more towards youthful and accessible sans serif fonts can feel much more approachable to your target audience the sharp clean lines of a sans serif font can be also viewed as more approachable and playful because of its simplicity so recently there has been a major shift in branding design in recent years with number of the bigger brands to appear more modern and more accessible they have changed their fonts from serif to sans serif one of the most famous brand like google they also have redesigned their logo towards using sans serif font not only google even other traditional companies also have changed their fonts from serif to sans serif like hsbc yahoo spotify and number of brands which have been shifted from serif to sans serif branding so as a final verdict so when it comes to choosing the serif versus sans serif fonts there's no one right way both fonts are equally useful depending on their target audience so keep two things in mind choose a font that feels unique to you your brand and think about your target audience and how they would be interacting with your brand i hope this video was very useful for you to clear the concept of serif versus sans serif fonts thanks for watching the video and please subscribe to my channel and press the like button and if you have any comments please share your comments below